environment tells us that communities, economies, political structures, and civilizations that refuse to adapt to crisis and to the demands of changing times brought about by factors such as environmental disasters, disease, famine, war, and the like eventually decline, collapse, and perish. Examples of this abound in history. He pointed out that one reason for such inevitable collapse and extinction of communities and civilization is the failure to recognize the sea of the crisis. A good example is climate change. Change in heat and temperature are difficult to determine to ordinary people. <clears throat> Another reason is failure to leaders to come together to address and respond to such challenges after recognizing the need for changes. We are fortunate that in our city, the Disaster Risk and Reduction Management Office was pre-positioned prior to the Luckily, after just a month, fuel, power, banks, transactions, and water are almost 100% back. In the south and outside of Cebu, many are still struggling for completion and response and failure of degrees. With this latest incident of a death, we in the now city is even more committed not only to develop our assets necessary during times of disaster, but to develop a framework for sound research and policy studies that enables us to anticipate, prepare the future. Dr. Tarun Lani, an attorney with Spain, attended our initial discussion on developing this capacity. For this endeavor, we will knock for assistance in the days to come. In conclusion, before I congratulate you again, may I make the assurance that as a community in the now, we will focus more efforts to find ways to adapt our COVID times. Together, let us continue to be COVID resilient and disaster adaptive. Again, to all the winners, congratulations. Stay safe and enjoy this day. Sit down. Thank you so much, Vice Mayor Nunes, for delivering to us the message from our dear city mayor. Now, to add up to the level of our joy and excitement of this special celebration, let us hear a message from our equally hardworking and passionate leader, our pillar in the division of the now city. Ladies and gentlemen, a resounding applause to our school's division superintendent, Dr. Leia P. Novares, CISO 6. Thank you, Jen. Sa akong konsiko, kasyudad sa danaw, akong mainito nung napagbibayakan ninyo. Sa among mga respected and beloved partners. Good morning. Morning greetings to my principals and supervisors and teachers who are here today. Labaw sa tanan, akong lakong pasalamat sa akong pinalanggang mayor, Honorable Ramon Nito D. Durano III, for sending his bigatin son. So, mokong nang indication how our mayor loved because he is sending his son to us. Biblical kayo, no? But then, this is the day of celebration. We wanted to pursue this avenue of rewarding and awarding the efforts of our people in the field and also rejoicing because we have such wonderful partners in that division of the house. Like any other face-to-face -face activity, this activity was very difficult to organize. 
One, we need to ensure that all our participants are fully vaccinated. That's the first challenge that we are doing. Next, the venue. Where do we conduct the activity such that it would be wide enough for health protocols to be served? And then, on top of it, ODET hit us hard. So we had to postpone this activity. And because we've already paid for this, no? Hindi na pwede nga, hindi na ilayon. But most of all, we conceptualize this event because our hearts are overflowing with gratefulness to all of you. Despite the pandemic, that in the now city did not stop working. Our efforts to make sure that education will continue despite 